Hello everybody, welcome back, bike over here. Yes, not many Bitcoin on exchanges. We have about uh, 1.8 million Bitcoin on exchanges. So, not, not a whole lot though, not a whole lot. So, this is a good indication of where things are going and I like the way it is because people are starving those exchanges uh, out of Bitcoin and the fantastic moment that uh, that I'm waiting for the most is the having where when most Bitcoin basically gonna you know we will have less Bitcoin coming in the market so what does that mean well the halving happens and the miners getting less Bitcoin they're gonna have get half the amount they are getting now so if you're getting a certain amount of Bitcoin dumping getting being dumped in the market right now next year you will get half of that this is where the start the stock to flow comes in the stock to flow is basically the amount of Bitcoin uh, flowing in the market right so you have the total you know the total amount of Bitcoin in circulation which is like at uh, 19 point something like big million Bitcoin I know all the amount of Bitcoin that ever created you divide that by uh, you divide that by the the weight, the, the, the stock to flow, right? Uh, basically, the weight, the amount of Bitcoin that's coming out of the the market every year, right? That's the stock to flow, like yearly stock to flow. So uh, right now, the stock to flow of Bitcoin uh, of gold is higher than Bitcoin because the dividend. Uh, this the flow the yearly flow of gold is way less than Bitcoin because you have like you know like uh, 6.25 Bitcoin every 10 minutes right that's that's quite a bit right? over a year uh, every 10 minutes right minutes so it's uh, so it's uh, it's a lot over a year when you put that in a year but because it's gonna cut in half it's gonna bring it to 3.125 to five next year so you're gonna have instead of this amount you're gonna have the dividend will divided by two so the numerator right is you know still is growing and then you have you know the numerator is approximately the same but a little bit a little bit more but you will have the dividend uh, you have the denominator that will be um, lower so that in overall the result will have a, a bigger stock to flow that will be bigger than than gold so close to double in my opinion um, may not be double but it will be uh, it will be quite a bit right maybe 100 by uh, you know by January or or March of 2025 so this is uh, this is it right now but now let's come back talking about the exchanges you have the exchanges um, having um, they will have trouble getting our hands on Bitcoin okay so because the Bitcoin market right because when uh, the mining rewards drops right miners will have less Bitcoin on hands right um, Bitcoin will be more, much more valuable, right, to adjust to the price, right? So they will, they will need more money in order for them to sell their Bitcoin because of how much money they are putting in uh, to secure, you know, to to uh, to discover that block. So because you, so because of that, they're gonna have a massive price going up right, as usual every four years. But now you have less Bitcoin on the market. Now, it's at 1.8 million right now. 
wait till it get to um, the point where it's at like somewhere a million right so I, I think it's gonna be there in the in by 20 by the end of 2024 that's just my opinion a million uh, Bitcoin and exchanges would be amazing because by this time you will have most of the EDF in the US uh, you in the eurozone you will have a lot of Bitcoin EDF as well because of the a game theory and uh, you're gonna have uh, less Bitcoin in circulation right this is amazing and by the way if you do the math properly right you will see let's say you have let's just even a million pleb I wonder right we decide to get fifty dollars of Bitcoin every every day okay and we would say okay oh, that's that's crazy because most people don't make like more than a hundred dollars a day I mean yes but I'm talking about the average pleb who really understand who's, who stacks that very hard and who don't have a lot of debt and those plebs they uh they 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 do a lot of side hustle right and i mean if you take those plebs right and they accumulate let's say let's okay let's say it's 25 dollars a day okay for those plebs right they do that throughout the year okay because some pleb they may buy let's say sometimes they will have the tax return and then they put that in new bitcoin right so that's that's quite a bit though that's quite a bit and you know you 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 you, you, you multiply that by 365 right and uh 25 by 365 and you know and then you take this the amount of bitcoin available right now you know those players they can dry up that they can dry this up like pretty quick you know so especially when you you so convent a con you get that conviction you know it's 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 pretty easy to see where this thing is going and you know you start to see it now because and by the way a lot of those exchanges let's say coinbase and binance man I don't think by I don't think Binance has all this Bitcoin, man. Like six, you know, six hundred thousand. I, I don't know. Like, like I don't Coinbase like five hundred thousand Bitcoin. Like, where they get? Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, it's just for the value of the company, the valuation of the company, and the uh, the amount of Bitcoin they would hold. It's just I, I just don't get it. I don't I don't think they 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 got like. It's just so much rehypification and uh, those uh, exchanges, you know, just the same for Binance, right? Like all those coins, yeah, they say they hold. I don't think they hold them. That's just my opinion. Um, so, you know, it's people are offer a huge awakening. When there's, like, there's less Bitcoin in, uh, to go around, and those people, they will go to Binance and say, hey, let's give him my Bitcoin. They won't have the Bitcoin back, right? They will say, hey, I'm sorry. We won't be able to, you know, you know, service that Bitcoin, right? So we are insolvent. That's all they have to say, right? And they just called our lawyers, right? The guy said it itself. He said, yes, they ask him, would you be able to serve that you know, if you if you get a marketing call, if you if, if the people call you to give them the old Bitcoin, he said, yeah, they will, he will handle it. And he's like, oh yeah, I will let my my lawyers handle it. Like, what do you mean, lawyers? What what lawyers have to do with that? Right. So this is why you have to be brilliant. You have to be smart about your Bitcoin and understand this game. The game is to take your private key right? take your Bitcoin private key if you have to ask permission to move it it's not it's not yours right not your keys not your coin the real revolution is to take that Bitcoin to your own self custody and that's how we bring money back to the individual to the people and not those corporations not those banks not the government right so it's a revolution 
uh, to take self responsibility of your money, right? So be, this is what this is the biggest innovation is self custody. Give you your money, the power over your money. Like a lot of people, you know, can't believe that they just they just can't imagine being being so powerful with their money, right? So, anyways, I just uh, wanted to just. Uh, you read and that a little bit and just make you make sure you understand what, what what's going on here and, and the goal the goal is just uh you know to empower yourself you know and your family right by acquiring a money that cannot steal from you so uh, and i'm so happy amazed with those uh you know people taking their bitcoin to self custody that's good a good job guys so and and again another thing uh when you're gonna have basically by the way guys if you like the, this podcast if you you know if you listening like till then uh, till now i would say you really like what you're listening to and then you want to want to keep me going like one side um uh you know stream me one side on my lightning address below that would be nice right that would be nice just one side one satoshi um that that just make me let me know like what you like you know like that's the only we are interaction i like uh really uh because it's a di- direct interaction uh, you can you can leave a note and what you like and all that and on my um uh, and my get albi address so basically what it says say okay what you like right you you really like what you saw what you heard and uh so it, you give me some encouragement right make me want to be more motivated to do this uh, this podcast and uh yeah that's that's it because if you anything through youtube you know as you know youtube is very centralized so I can't tomorrow I may wake up and I don't see my my you know channel it doesn't exist anymore but if you send, send me a sat one sat this one sat will worth way much more in the future so you know what I mean like let's say even if I forgot that you know wallet somewhere and I I I, I will discover that wallet I it will worth so much more money so that's 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 the goal here and yeah so anyways enough of uh begging so uh, i was talking about the exchanges I'm almost done but um uh, with one more thing though it's about the the amount of uh, bitcoin that that are being re hypothecated and when those exchanges go bust like ftx did you will see the truth because a lot of those bitcoin don't like don't really like i mean there are a lot of claims on the, those bitcoin that those exchanges are not being um trans- transparent about like those like for example binance right binance like say they have like so much bitcoin um but what what if those people who who buy those bitcoin right what if they have much more claims on those bitcoin right what, what if people had way more claims on those bitcoin right so what, what what would they do? You know what I mean? It's like it, this is the crazy thing. I mean, like people would have like let's say people have like so much. Uh, let's say let's say people buy uh, five Bitcoin, right? They have five Bitcoin on, on Binance, and then Binance use that Bitcoin. They you know they we hypothecate it, right? So what ha- what's gonna happen is when the halving happen, and then you have the price spike, and then and People start taking, you know, people will start selling. And then when something happened, when one exchange, two exchange start to go down and then price will crash and then things start, start to, you know, spiral. And then this is when you're going to see who's swimming naked. Right? Just like you said, like you saw Celsius and a Black, a BlockFi and all of that. And then you'll see what really was real Bitcoin and fake Bitcoin. So... Because you can pull your private key, you cannot do that with gold. You cannot do that with uh, your uh, your bond. You cannot do that with your with your uh, you know silver certificate. Right? You can pull your private key with 
for Bitcoin. So that's and and it's transparent on the blockchain. So that's uh, that's that right there. And uh, again, guys, I just uh, hope you enjoy this podcast. And if you like, please subscribe, comment, and uh, show me uh, what you like, enjoy about this. And uh, I will so I will see you again, guys, in the next talk. This was by cover. And uh, yeah, show me some uh, appreciation with the lightning address below. If you you know want to show some values for some value back. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for listening, and I'll I'll see you again in the next talk. I cover.